Welcome back, you guys, to another episode of the Bull City Pioneers podcast. Tune in in your two favorite Latinos. My name is Hector. My name is Luis. And we are back for episode 63. Damn, bro. 63? 60-something. It'll be in the fucking Bruh. name of the, t- the, yeah, the episode. Yeah, 60, 63, 64. <laughs> Something That's crazy, like that. 63. What are we going to roll, bro? What are we going to do when we get to 69? <laughs> I'm just kidding, nah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> we going we going to snitch. <laughs> what? Uh, we going we going we going to pull up Takashi. <laughs> we going <laughs> We going to pull up Takashi. Hell yeah. No, oh my god. <laughs> but uh, what what we got for the people today, Hector? Well, as you guys can probably tell already, hopefully I've edited this. But we finally got our three angles. We got camera right. 1 here. Camera two, two here, and then camera, camera three, three over there. Yeah. Um, so hopefully this one doesn't time out after a short minute, because yeah. it tends to do that. Um, but we're excited to, to finally get you know some some more diversity going on in the videos. Yeah, more stuff. angles, more angles, more angles. angles and just make Where would a fourth camera be if we wanted to? I feel like raised up right there, this way. Like a high, like a down? Yeah. A little bit, kind of like. Or maybe for much. like maybe for like close up like super close up face. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. sometimes when I edit the videos and mm-hmm. I do a close up, it like the quality of it gets a little yeah, bad because yeah. of the zoom in. But yeah. But yeah, we could do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Fun but um, what we got going on for you guys today? <sighs> We're soon. gonna try and hit a little bit of story time. Um, just talk about our our days and shit and mm-hmm. what we've got going on so far. I got some news about the brand and whatnot and. We'll keep it rolling with that. Maybe we might do some bars. Maybe we might. We might. We might do. If, if Hector Maybe. can think of something that I can rebuttal to from last week, bro. Yeah, something like that. Um, I'll, I'll oh definitely God. hit something up on onto his uh, his life. You know, blast him. He's gonna mess him up. Mess him up. Straight mess him up. That's just gonna be funny. But uh, what should we start with today? Didn't you say you had something to talk about? Um, oh yeah. Um, so, guys, by the time this comes out, this fight is gonna be old. It's gonna be oh, yeah. done with. It's because the fight is tomorrow. Um, today's Saturday. Yeah, today's Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. This ha- fight is gonna already have had um, taken place. But there's a fight, a charity match, a charity boxing match between Slim and. Lucy too. Both of these are YouTube personalities. One has had multi- like two channels that reach 10 million subscribers. One has a channel that has half a million. It's just been going back and forth and and, and talking shit and, and you know just it's it's been all over the place. What do you think? What did you what did you think of the, about the fight? That's what I want to know. Maybe we can do like a reaction video next week for uh, okay. for the boxing match and see see what we think about it but what do you guys think about the match or if you don't know who these people are they're both youtubers they're both like middle eastern um and they're just both two guys that is this have, a thing too like some youtubers actually like yeah yeah people like logan paul yeah um, i think that's the one K- K- KSI. ksi yeah yeah that, um, that english dude yeah honestly i didn't FIFA. i didn't find too much interest on that on those really um, I used to watch KSI a lot. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> what does he do? I thought he was what, the what funniest guy. What does he do? Comedy? He, uh, well, the only real video I know he does like I think he does like skits and stuff. Mm-hmm. But like the only videos that I saw about him, like he'd play uh, FIFA and he would like rage and stuff like that. Oh. But like he was just a funny guy when I was <coughs> I would watch him all the time when I was younger. Gotcha. And I thought he was just the funniest guy ever. But like I heard about like I, I didn't watch the video, but I heard that the KSI and the, and the local Paul were gonna. Get in on that I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't watch the fight until exactly one year after it happened on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I was so late, but I was like, "Holy shit!" This it, it was. I'm gonna be honest. Also, oh, it wasn't recent. There, it, no. Well, oh. if you consider one year and some change recent, but okay. they're gonna have round two. Um, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, but I just, I, I'm, I'm so excited to watch this, this uh, Slim versus Fusi fight it's gonna be it's gonna be good because they're one thing that i noticed is that they talked way more shit to each other than the rest of these people so i'm excited for that shit what did you guys think of the fight 
what you guys what's your prediction or well no this would, you're gonna already have seen the fight so what, yeah yet. what do you guys <laughs> think of the fight that's that's the thing I mean, not everybody's going to see it, too. You're so right, if you're, you're just right. hearing about this on here, go check it out. Yeah, go check it out, and then, you know, <laughs> tell us tell us what's up. Honestly, Can I'm... Do a live, like, reaction video? Like, when it streams? Or should we just, like, uh, wait? Let's wait. Let's wait. Yeah, let's, <laughs> wait. let's wait. Let's, 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 let, let's let it sizzle. Um, but um, one thing is that I just feel like Fuji's going to win not I'm, I'm not getting political or or i'm not picking sides because of whose story or who's who talks more shit or anything i just think physically can any of them actually box i mean they're all amateurs but well not i don't even think you can consider them amateurs i would consider them beginners so so i guess to like to be able to even like be a participant in this like you have to be kind of an amateur it's not like anything professional or anything. No, nah, it's, it's kind of just like a clout fight. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, a clout fight. It's a clout fight. That's literally all it is. Um, but physically, and what from what I've seen, I think Fusi's gonna win. What do you? Well, you probably haven't seen, but I just, how I said, I just think Fusi's gonna win. Nothing political. I'm just talking straight from this, from the not even stats because they don't have no stats. They're not boxers. <laughs> um, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, from from action, from practice, from from. Um, growth, I think this is gonna win. Okay. But um, transitioning into our story time, so Hector, what do you have for us today? For, this is uh, still story time with Lisa. Uh, I got you. I got you. Story time. Story time. Wait, let me sing it. Let me sing it. Oh, you got it. Okay. Story time with Luis. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta hit the. <laughs> no. Okay. The what? The what? The what's it called? Wow, I can't believe I. <laughs> bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Never mind, bro. Okay. Oh my but, god. Uh, story time. Story time. Story time. Okay, so, so um, begin your story. This happened to me today, honestly. That's crazy. And I wanted to talk about it because uh Hey bro, before I before you say anything, bro, I was gonna help you out. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I fell asleep and then by the time I woke up and saw your text message, you were like, Never mind. Oh I got okay. it. Yeah, but I would have helped you if I would have been awake. I had not. I no, didn't have a, bro. <laughs> He's like, wait, what? I mean, it's just that I went to sleep like at three and no, some I get change. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. But today, this is typical. Like, this happens to everybody. Uh, um, so today, um, so it's like we mentioned earlier, it's Saturday. So and on Saturday morning, sometimes mm -hmm. I go over to the, the downtown art market uh, here in Durham, mm -hmm. and I go to vend uh, some of my almost every weekend. Almost, almost Not every weekend. weekend. Sometimes I skip because of like the weather or family yeah, and stuff. But yeah. I went today uh, to vend some of my hectic wear, and um, I was setting up my booth and whatnot. And then I had to go back to my car to grab my charger. And as I was coming back, I realized that I didn't have my car keys oh, on my keychain, and I had locked my keys in the car. You gotta be kidding me, bro! But damn. And uh, I know that's kind of underwhelming <laughs> the story, Bruh. but because this happens to anybody, but it was I wanted to talk about it because it was because how like I was in like in my mental state like mm -hmm. that this morning, like I woke up and I was feeling good, mm -hmm. and I told myself today's gonna be the day, mm -hmm. you know, and I was trying to like speak stuff into existence. Yeah, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some sales today. Um, I'm Did gonna you? do good and Sorry, and scared. um. We ain't gonna talk about that. No, <laughs> no it's fine. It's fine. Hey, hey, there's a hit miss day, hit or miss days. Right? You can't win day. them all. You can't win them all. That's what she but, said. <laughs> so continue. But um, Bruh. I locked my keys in the car, and I was like I said, I was feeling, I was feeling mad good about myself. Like I was, I was like smiling at everybody, and I was like, you know, I was like helping other people too, and um. I was just feeling good, and then that mm. that's that shit just kind of went like <clears throat> it ruined my mood because also like um, I tried to get my dad to come and help me, and like he's just been so preoccupied with a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that he was kind of like oh like I always gotta be helping you <laughs> with Bruh. shit, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. didn't want to come and help me, and I was like man, this stuff is like it's like like life was like kind of testing me. It was a yeah. small test. Yeah. But it was but still it, testing. Yeah, hell yeah. You know? it, was, it was a test. Like, it was a test. Like I told myself, I was gonna feel good that day. Like yeah. I'm gonna feel good today. And life was like, no, you're not. Yeah. Like I'm gonna find some shit to bring you down, and I'm oh, gonna yeah. try to bring mm -hmm. you down. And that's the stuff that's kind of like, 
where you have to be strong in your mental state like even this little stuff you know mm -hmm. which is kind of ridiculous yeah. that people like complain about and like oh i'm having the worst day because i like my keys in the car and it's like one day this is one like, day one it's day. one like, thing out of 24 out. hours like, one thing in 24 hours yeah it's but, just one thing but still it's like it's little stuff like that mm -hmm. that you have to like kind of you have to stay focused and even with like and i'm gonna be dead honest like my mind my mental state like i'm my mind is fragile I can tell that like my head, my mind is fragile and the little Same stuff here. messes with me. Literally. And um, when stuff like that happens, like I have to just constantly remind myself, like, like you can't fall under that trap. Yeah. You just can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't fall under that trap that life tries to bring you down. I mean, people like you and I that Same. have like, you know, kind of like some more sensitive minds, fucking beast, bro, Ooh. get the fuck away. Uh, they, they went away but you know, since you like people like you and i that have sensitive minds we just have to constantly like remind our, ourselves that shit's gonna be okay even through the small shit that happens like that like you locked your key inside your car like that shit happens like that's just normal everybody makes those mistakes mm -hmm. like it's and it's okay you know like shit's gonna get fixed it's gonna she's gonna work out just you know one step at a time solve the issue and then continue mm -hmm. continue with life i mean if your dad wouldn't have came i would have i would have gone bro i mean i got the little kit thing <laughs> but then i would have been like man don't do this shit no more hector <coughs> keep your that's how my dad felt <laughs> like don't Bruh. do this anymore like, did he give you a lecture afterwards no because like okay so the, the reason he was like he was kind of like uh, mm -hmm. hesitant to come and help me mm -hmm. so because it was like a, a quinceanera going on at our church and whatnot, and he, he was, was like, he out. was part of it, like, he had to help out and stuff. So, like, his day from the start, like, he had to get up real early from uh -huh. the start, like, he was already busy. And when I called him up, he was asleep. Oh, because he was yeah. like, this is the only opportunity I'm going to get to rest, because yeah. he had to get up yeah. at, like, 6 in the morning to take oh, my yeah. sister somewhere. And I was like, fuck, man, I felt really bad, too. Like, when he came and he, and I saw him from down the street, like, trying to unlock my car <clears throat> i saw that like a homeless guy too was helping him <laughs> oh shit <laughs> yeah so, some homeless guy i didn't even know he was homeless at first because he didn't look homeless mm -hmm. and like he was there like helping my dad with like a wire he was like trying to stick the wire through the door mm -hmm. and my dad was holding it open with a flathead screwdriver mm -hmm. and uh and like he was the main one like really like you know trying yeah. to open the door and then like once he opened it after the fact he was like, oh, you mind if I get like $3 or something just to grab me like a bologna sandwich or something? Like I'm real hungry, whatever. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shoot, <laughs> he was homeless. Oh, shoot. And I was yeah. like, yeah, you can take the $3. Bro. Like, you had you cash on you? Me. You had cash on you? Well, my dad gave me Oh, okay. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> but, Damn. But like, still, like, he helped us out. And yeah. It was, it was really generous of him because, mm -hmm. like, I don't think, like, any other homeless person would. Yeah, no. Nah. But he was looking for work. Hey, kudos to him, bro. Instead of, you know, putting a sign up, he said, hey, is an opportunity to help somebody and maybe make a couple bucks? Yeah. Let me do that. That that That's the, you know, the the, the mentality is, is the thing that counts. So. Yeah. And after the fact, like I was saying, like, I, uh, I strayed off where I was saying. But yeah. after, like, he opened it and, like, my dad was, like, heading out, like, I had to apologize to him, too. Like, even though I didn't do it on purpose, yeah. Like I was like I felt bad. I was like I got to apologize to him because I made him go out of his way to come out here mm -hmm. and and help me for something so small like that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's that. But that's that. Now we're doing this the same day. So this happened the same day, and you know I didn't let that shit bring me down. No, yeah. Even though like you know anything else could have possibly happened, but like I didn't let hey, that. Shit could have been worse, bro. Yeah. Shit could have been worse. I could have like. Had to have smashed my window open. Think <laughs> nah, I mean, hey, nah, you good, bro. I mean, and people, people were like telling me, like, hey, you got you got triple A, cause like triple A can come in, like help you. <laughs> Fuck out of here, triple A. <laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Triple A, bro. Triple A. You got ass, you got bad experiences with triple A. <laughs> Hell no, man. Now I just sometimes you have to pay extra to have triple A. Oh. Or if you don't have it covered under your insurance, you gotta pay it. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. No. <laughs> Hell no, no. Nah. We're here now. So. Yeah, we're here. We're doing this. We're doing what we got to do. Um, 
I mean, a good thing is that it worked out. How I said, if, it, if your dad wouldn't have gotten there, I would have gotten there a little bit late, of course. How long is, is the mar is the uh, farmer's market? It's from, so I have to get there like mad early. Like mm -hmm. I woke up at 6.30 just to get there around mm -hmm. 7 yeah. or so. And like, even then, like, cause it's like a first come first serve basis. <coughs> so like you, whoever comes first, they get a better spot, like down the street where more of the people are. Yeah. And like, by the time I get there every time, like it's already kind of full. Dang, um, that's crazy. But it's like people still walk up all the way anyway. Yeah, of course. For the most part, um, those who actually you know want to see everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really like stressing that much yes, about, about it. it. Um, one thing that it's we from nine to one. One thing that happened in downtown today. I don't know if you know this, but the Pride Parade. Oh yeah. yeah, which is mad dope. Oh, like Duke. Yeah, all downtown basically. Oh really? Yeah, Ninth Street, that area, probably more, but. From what I know, I know they were on 9th Street and they did pass by too. Kudos to them. Yeah. Kudos to them. I hope you guys had a good parade. I hope that everybody that went had a good night, a good time. It looked like a lot of fun, to be honest. Really? On video, it looked like a lot of fun. I kind of wish I was there. Was it on the news or something? Uh, people Snapchat, social media. Oh, oh yeah, I think it was on the news. Yeah, yeah, it was actually on the news. Yeah. It's on the news. But that, that looked like a lot of fun. And also, uh, the Art of Cool Festival happened. Yeah. There was just a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, it, it's, it's been a lot. It's been a shit a lot. Do you know anything about that? Like how it went? Or what happened at the event? That was actually one of the events that I was going to try and vend at. Oh, okay. But like, I didn't really get a chance to submit my application because I still had like some, like some important questions about the application itself. Mm -hmm. And I had emailed that fest like the people who they the organized festival, it. some yeah yeah promoters and, and they never responded, so I was like oh okay. <laughs> I mean it is what it is. It is, what it is. Uh, and I drove past it. I might have just driven at the wrong time, but it didn't even seem like there was a lot of people there. Ah, uh, but um, I I don't know. I might have just been there like long long time. But um, and but, if yeah. not many people went, then um, just kidding. Just kidding. But, I mean, I don't know how. Like I said, yeah, I wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. Um, yeah, the pride, the pride parade. I, I feel like it's it's a good thing for our city. I, I feel like it it makes more our city more accepting. Which not only does it invite more people to come, but it makes it more of a community. You know what I'm saying? More equ equitable community, which is what I, I I love equity. I love equality, but I love equity even more. So look at you yeah. with them big words. <laughs> it's like what five letters? Five letters. You had to count. You're like it's five letters. Man. E Q U I T Y. Six letters. My bad. Oh damn, that's crazy. Well, see, we both fucked up because I agreed with you. True. <laughs> we both fucked up. We we need to go back to kindergarten. Oh my god. So transitioning to the next uh, event of our podcast, what do we have, Hector? Um. Well, I was gonna smoothly transition from. The event to my brand. Oh, okay, yeah, you yeah. Know, Let's do that. Brand. Let's do that. Let's do that. So, hectic wear. Yes, sir. Is hectic. So, yes, sir. So, <laughs> so for uh, recently, it probably from the last podcast episode, it was already been out too, and I just really yeah. talked about yeah, of it. Of course. But uh, I recently had my fall release for the clothing brand, so go mm -hmm. check that out, you guys. I really appreciate it. A small little plug for oh, myself. Yeah. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. But uh, I did the fall release. I released uh -huh. uh, three T-shirts. <coughs> um, what else? Um, like two bracelets, two different colored bracelets, and then a, a chain necklace with like the rocket. Uh, mm -hmm. What's it called? The rocket pendant. Which so, looks dope as fuck. So I really. Cool I mean, you. thank you. Appreciate that, bro. Did you? We'll talk about this off camera. Actually, continue. So um, I put these together too. Uh, for those of you who have already seen it, who listen to the podcast and also follow me there, you've seen it. Uh, the release, the design that I did for it was kind of simple. Like it was kind of like this collection was more for like branding, not so much actual design. Um, and I really like. I felt good about how it came out because once I released it, I didn't feel like how I did with my, all my other releases. If that makes sense, because. Mm -hmm. With this one, I felt a lot more confident with the style that I put out and how it looked. Honestly, I feel like it was much simpler, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this release has been, if not one of my favorite yeah. releases. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, 
he kept it simple, but it, it had a character. He had character. Like, that's what matters. It had character, and it was dope. Cool. That's cool. critiques right there. Critique, bro. That's critiques. 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 <laughs> it's true. It's true. But, um, I liked how it came out, and, like I was saying, I, I put it out <laughs> once I released mm -hmm. it. Um, I got really good feedback from actually from like a lot people. of people. Yeah. Um, the people who modeled for it, obviously, and then just friends in general, which didn't happen too much with my previous releases, mm -hmm. especially which the was 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 I feel like was filled with more pieces that were more complex. If you know what I mean, if they were more yeah, they were more complex. Okay. Design wise, design wise, they were much more complex than the ones that you just released. But I like this one better. Okay. Yeah. I feel like, for me, it wasn't much design, the previous ones. It was much more just the concepts behind it. Yeah. They were good concepts. That's what I mean, but, actually. Um, yeah. Yeah. Concepts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Right. Yeah. Because then, then I do agree with you. Like, yeah. Huh? <laughs> Bruh. But it was more so the concepts. I felt like they were more complex and they didn't really, like, uh, like they didn't really grasp people, at, like, how I wanted it to. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one definitely this did. One, yeah, this one, yeah. I feel like I got some good reactions from it. Even though, like, it's not crazy. Like, it's not a huge amount, obviously, because I'm still a very small brand. But it was, like, I felt, you know, the presence from when I released it. Like, yeah. I felt, like, you know, people yeah. were showing it love. People were sharing it. And, and like... Um, I felt the presence. Not, no, I didn't feel... I didn't even... I, I, well, I, mean, I felt that it was going to be a better release when I saw the shirts. When I saw the quality and the concept, I felt like this is, okay. this is good. This is good, yeah. Unlike the one, when you had the other release, um, the one before this one. Um, the P.O.P.? Yeah, the P.O.P., yeah. Oh, it was, it was, no, I think the shirts too, right? Or which one? No, because that no, wasn't no, my- the, the rocket normal. shirts, the rocket oh, shirts. The rocket yeah, feet. yeah, yeah. Um, I liked it, but I wasn't like as excited for this one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the heck, the, the just the simple hectic type of shirts. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just it, it. I like the the what do you call it? The um, aesthetic behind it. Okay. I prefer that. You know, the aesthetic of this shirt than the rocket shirt. Right. By by far, mm -hmm. by far. So. And I just like yeah. the colors that I picked. Yeah. Like I said, so I so thought... so the question is, what made you go? Like, what made you pick a simple concept this time? Well. Running out of time? No, talking with I did. I chose to do this because, um, like I said, I was I focused more on branding, mm -hmm. so I didn't really have to think too much about design. I still did, obviously, because yeah. you know the way it came out. Um, but I, w I also just didn't want. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I honestly didn't even want to think too much about this, this release. Uh -huh. I just wanted to do something cool and just release it. Yeah, that's really what it was. I mean, that's honestly, that's honestly sometimes what you have to do is like just pull the trigger and go with your gut. And if you fail, cool. Yeah. But it might be a hit. It's a 50-50 chance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I have a lot more other like uh, collection concepts. Yeah. Like already thought out. Mm -hmm. I don't have the designs for most of them, but I have them thought out. Mm -hmm. Um, and like. I keep jumping back and forth between different ones. Mm -hmm. Like this one probably wasn't even gonna come out. Like a, a different one was probably supposed to come out. Oh really? Like an actual collection with a concept. Okay. This one doesn't have much of a concept, uh -huh. but um, it definitely has an aesthetic though. Yeah. Okay. And then, and like I said, like I just felt really good about it, so mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. Um, if you guys haven't, you know, checked it out yet, if you guys are only follow us on the podcast. And you don't know where to find it. It's at Hectic Wear on Instagram. Um, the website is HecticWearLifestyle.com. I would love for it if you guys go check that out. And I would love the feedback. Let me know which ones were your favorite pieces. If you liked the the, the bracelets, which actually the accessories are probably my favorite part because I love accessories. Um, let me know what you guys think of those. And I'd love to know if you want me to make more. Yeah. Like I just I want to know what. Lead feedback. Cool. Lead yeah. feedback. <laughs> Lead feedback. So, the last thing on the list today, brother. Sweet bars of the week. So you I do want to spit some bars? <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, if you got something for me, I'll, I'll get something for you. Okay. Go ahead. I'm first. No, I went first last time. Ladies always go first. 
Ladies always go first. Remember that. All right, you know what? I'll go first. Go ahead. Are we doing three rounds like last time? Three rounds. Three rounds. All right. Dang, I didn't even notice. I like zoned out for like a millisecond there. That was weird. (laughs) Okay. It's funny how we always start off with each other's names too. Okay, um... Luis, as you can see, we're running out of daylight. Your bars ain't got no light because of your eyesight. You can't see these bars from a mile away because your vibes have been led led astray. And um, I'm struggling right now. I don't know what to do right now. All I know is that I'm gonna come after your weight. <laughs> I, don't know. I got you. I'm gonna come. I'm, 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 I'm so gonna come bad, back. Bro. I'm gonna come back with a rebuttal. Oh my god! I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back with a rebuttal <laughs> from what you said, Hector. Right now or last week? No, right now. Hector, you say we're running out of daylight, but I feel like you're running out of. Hector, you say you're running out of daylight, but you have no fight. You're missing the height. I'm gonna make you my kite. It's a little gay. No, never gay. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You say that you see me, you can't see me from a mile away, but those bars. I'm going to file them away. Is that it? You never, I never chase you. You chase me. Because I have, never have no case. And I always make it to home base. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I run. <laughs> and you like to have fun. Next time, I'm gonna make you my son. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you my son, Bro. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Alright, go I ahead. Re- rebuttal, rebuttal, rebuttal. This is your round two. Round two. You should put it like right there. Round, round two. two. <laughs> Fight. <Yeah>. Fight. <laughs> no. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah, yeah no, you should do it. You should do it. You should do it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Luis, you act like your bars are on a run. You say I don't know how to have fun. But I'ma hit you like a taser, stun. Okay, okay, okay. I'ma grill you like a hot dog, bun. Uh, No? (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? I'm not done. Okay. I'm not done. Okay. Okay. You say you're gonna make me your son. Fuck. Oh, yeah, I fucked up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. My turn. My turn. Oh my God. God. Hector, you keep copying my bars. I did. I'm sorry. I'm about to. Write them down on cards and let you borrow them. Don't follow don't follow me next time. Cause you're a copycat. After I use my bat and make a home run. And then I have fun. Unlike you. You always you're always shunned. Like no rhythm in that. Um, <laughs> keep eating those honey buns. I will. I will. I, I will. will. Too. I will too. too. I will. They're pretty good. I want to go for one more, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> this round, Hector. I'll give you that one. <laughs> round 
three. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that was round three. No, 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 that was round two. Really? Yeah, like each round we each have to oh, go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Luis, I'm going to make you go back from whence you came. There's no way you can be a part of this game. Okay. Oh, okay, I like that one. I like that one. I like that the one. Bars. Give Latino the same. You ain't got no one else to blame. That's it. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. That was so but I got, but I got a rebuttal. <laughs> Hector. Hector. I'm on lyrics. You say, you say that I should go where I came from, oh, no. you, Hector, you say that I need to go back to where I came from. We're both but, from the same place, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> you good. But the thing is, I'm still going to have my fame. You say that I'm ashamed, but you're truly the lame, <laughs> and we're not the same. What the? <laughs> oh my god! You're the one to blame. Oh my god! <laughs> now, let me tell you something. You're wearing a pink shirt. Actually, no. Well, let's go back to talking about your bars. They're always weak. Never on fleek. You get no girls. Go eat your onion curls. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, yeah, that last one was a little. That last one was, last one was hey, a little. Hey, uh, do something, though. <laughs> your onion curls. Oh my god. Because you never get girls with curls. Curls, curls, okay. Oh! Okay. I mean, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Who won this? Who won this? This, this, this. Well, let them decide. <laughs> Who do you think won this one? This is terrible. <laughs> I vote myself. Of course you're gonna yeah. vote yourself. I'm just hey, but shout out, shout out to AJ. I heard that. I heard that. Oh, we're not the same part that you said. That's how it's like. His oh motto. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, shoot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, that was clever. Actually, uh, you got it from him. So uh, you didn't even know. Oh, I did. No, I got it from him. So I'm gonna put it under quotations. Quotations. AJ the Medic. He's the uh, the founder of that quote, the, the writer of that quote. So don't 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 at me, don't at don't me, at I, me. don't at me. Copyright. So um, let us know who won. Let us know who won. So Those you guys. Fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Because I was I always were bad at it, but you know it's, it's yeah. A I mean different. weak bars, right? They weak. weak bars. Are so you know it, it's supposed to be weak. So to start wrapping so it up, wrap, uh, just to start wrapping it up, you guys. Um, where can you find us? You can find us at Bull City Pioneers on all streaming platforms. With a capital P. Um, you can find us on all streaming platforms at Bull City Pioneers. And if you don't know how to spell that, I tried to sign it out right now, but I kind of failed. But Bull City Pioneers. Let's just look it up on Google. We should even come up on. See, yeah, that's think, cool. I think, I think you so, know, yeah. I, I've done it before. Really? And we pop up. That's just cool as fuck. <laughs> and we legit, bro. And we legit. <laughs> we cool. show up on the first page yeah, yeah. when you Google. <laughs> that shit's crazy, bro. Shit, not. You know, when we began, bro, we used to like, like random shit used to pop up. Really? But now. You did it in the beginning too. Yeah, like, like ten, like, it was so between or eight, eight or ten episodes in. I was like, I want to see if we pop up. Ain't not really. nothing pop up that was related to us but now, now we bro, know. bro we're, pay, videos bro. hey i should put up like a picture right here or something like a screenshot Yo, of like do the it, google do page it, do it do it do it, do it. <laughs> hey if it's not there <laughs> no bro I, i'm telling you bro okay, i've already done this so okay. trust me trust me but thank you guys again for watching the bull city pioneers podcast please leave feedback how i said you can find us on all platforms at bull city pioneers podcast how i said we upload every week but we missed the week, so don't quote us on that one. Um, please leave feedback, how I said. Subscribe, like, share, comment, everything. If you like listening or watching the podcast, 
Thank you guys for watching once again to the Bull City Pioneers podcast. I'm Luis. I'm Hector. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace out.